Hi friends, and welcome back to my second reaction video ever. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, put on a blue top for you guys. You can tell my excitement levels based on the color. Blue is an excited color. Um, today I'm going to be reacting to one of the videos from Valorant Hub. Valorant Hub, if you're not subscribed, subscribe like what are you doing with your life um it is run by a dear friend of mine zaki he makes incredible valorant content and he is like really very knowledgeable on law which i find very interesting it's probably the thing i find the most interesting because um yeah i'm an actor and it all kind of connects so if you're watching now and you're like who is this blonde woman in front of me. Um, I'm the Miranda. I'm Miranda. I'm the voice of Sky in the video game Valorant. And today we are going to be looking at the Fracture map and uh, Zaki's video. I think I've had not watched it, but it's got gameplay and lore. He's going to be discussing lore. So let's, let's watch it, my sweet hot friends. The Radiant Collider today. Welcome to Teleporter Terminal, custom games in Valorant. Now, down here, that was interesting because we saw, of course, some sort of energy wave. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Valorant Hub. My name is Zachy, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new map, Hi, Fracture, Zachy. which has come out very, very soon for us. Of course, it's already come out because we had early access. Thank you, of course, early to Riot access. for allowing us to have a look at this early. But I want to show you off some Valorant Fracture map lore slash stuff that you won't Ooh. have seen in general gameplay. So with that being said, let's jump straight into it because I know that's what you come to this channel for, or at least a lot of you do. And we're starting off in this room right here. Now, okay. this is essentially is the middle of the map as you can probably see from the top left where you can see of course cypher who it's, it's the agent i'm using and Ooh. you can see of course we are quite literally in the center now if we have a look at what's at the center specifically there's a reason why we have the by phase stuck right here it's because i want to show you some stuff that you can only have a look at with the by phase but first of all let's have a look at what we see right here so we have a control panel of course that says warning this is a screen that we have never seen before in valorant oftentimes when new maps come out we see the same screen screens being plastered onto each and every screen, which of course makes sense for time and stuff. And then we have another warning uh, image right I here. Feel Again, like, this one on. looks very so I feel like I'm just going. <laughs> like you guys are like, is she alright? Uh but I'm just like taking it in because you know, I I've seen some of the maps. Actually Zaki has come on my Twitch and shown some of the maps. Sorry, that was my neighbor. <laughs> um has shown some of the maps so um yeah i'm just taking all, all of it in i don't want to interrupt too much but just in case you're like what so both of them actually look very of course imminent and important i feel and then like we have this another map's warning graphic right here gonna be really it dramatic. Says right there it says containment protocol and then here we have temperature overload imminent. Now it's important Shit. again to also notice the language that is being used here. It's definitely English language. Having said that, something mm -hmm. very exciting and very interesting that we have never seen before is a map feature that shows us some law and i do wonder how they're going to evolve this i wonder how uh -huh. the creative team is going to evolve this but if we press f to use right here which you can so y'all <laughs> there hasn't been so I mean I think it's been a weird time for the law community in Valorant because they haven't gotten a lot of law le recently, and so this is really cool because I think it sort of says to the law community, people like Simprel, Zaki, content creators that that you know really kn are knowledgeable in this stuff that there's going to be more from Riot and and I think that's really cool. That's what we love to see because the focus recently has been so much on esports, which is so awesome. But it's good to have this happening and see that these kind of things are going to continue. See that the prompt comes up when I'm over here. We have something that we've never seen before. Let's press F and see what happens. Okay, so this has never happened before. We've never had a map that gives us this sort of feature before. Double check. Inbox. T455. This is from Re or R Pontes, I'm assuming. K Industries, which of course is probably Kingdom Industries. Yeah. Hello Ruben, did you finish your initial analysis on the Radian Collider today? I'm confident in our map and I know I'm being paranoid, but I really want to double check everything. Would you mind doing another walkthrough of the Eastern support structure with me tomorrow? Signed, Oren McNF. So, who's Ruben? And who is Oren 
McEnneth and what is going on with the Radian Glidon. <laughs> we have another thing right here. Again, it says warning Sorry, right Sorry, that here. just made me think of The Office when Jim goes, and what is going on? And what is going on? Do you get this reference? If you don't get it, you think I'm crazy. Anyway, interesting. Who are these two people? What is going on? K Industries, so sketchy. Bad guys. Yeah, but we have a press F to use prompt right here. Welcome, Oren and McKenneth to Everett Linda. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. you are able to meet your Omega partner, Ruben Pontes, outside 07A. As you'll be working closely with someone from Omega Kingdom, please ensure all security guidance is strictly adhered to the KSEC team. What in the heck is Omega <laughs> Kingdom, friends? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. <laughs> and to the magic of editing, we teleported to the- Oh my goodness, we have an ad. Okay. You feeling Ladies, bloated? Do you ever feel bloated? If so, this is the supplement for you. Other side of the map. And that's- Oh my goodness. This is pretty major lore, dude. That, that's crazy. I don't know. I don't know. I really like where it's going, though. Something's about to go down. Because we have another lore tidbit right here. Now, the reason why I've stuck us on the by phase is because, understandably, these disappear when it comes to the actual round. And that's because I would assume it would be a bit too distracting. And, of course, everything Valorant has to be gameplay-oriented first, lore second. And mm -hmm. this time, we simply have security clearance. But this time round, we have some information about Paul. Now, you might remember Paul from Icebox's Kitchen, where Paul, of course, is the employee of the month. Yeah. Paul Delman is Paul's name, apparently. That's an interesting one. Now, of course, with all that said, there is way more to look at, and I want to show you some of the beauty of this map, because it is truly beautiful. I think it's time to end the buy phase, and here we are wow. in the game itself. So let's go into ghost mode, and let's have a look at the background of Canyon. Canyon? Sorry, Fracture. The Canyon is the code name. Now, we're going to have a look at the rooms itself. Zach, he's like been so busy, I think, since this was released. He's like losing it. He's like, Canyon, Fracture. Just saying words randomly. No, but let's have a quick look at this Malfunctioning. Zachy's malfunctioning. This is absolutely beautiful. We have I'm what seems to be, at first I thought that was actually a, a waterfall. Oh, that's what I thought too. No, it's, instead, we just have this lake that is radiating some sort of blue energy, right? Now, this is really oh interesting God. because this reminds this me is this is of the, future. the blue energy that we it's saw climate change. in the Anthem video, which, of course, you can see this image. We've looked at this image so many times before. But, of course, this, what you're seeing right here, does look like that, right? And it's very, very beautiful. So let's have a look at some of the rooms and actually go through what we can see here. We have some pizza box stuff. Basically, this clearly looks like somewhere where people can eat and, of course, just, you know, look at the, the view, I guess. Then we have another room right here where we can see, of course, I don't know what the heck is going on here. Also, the team loves these tattoo bags. Oh, they it's love so it. It's so awesome to see. <laughs> and of course, I wonder what these containers are for. It's very interesting whether it's a Radiant container. And of course, here we have Kingdom boxes here, but I'm not sure what this is actually meant to be. We just have a conveyor belt, essentially. Mm -hmm. Moving over mm -hmm. to B-Site, of course, let's actually go down here. And right below B-Site, we actually have what seems to be a... I don't know what this is. Maybe some sort of research thing, right? Mm. Obviously, it's overgrown, but it used to be used for something where we can see, of course, these microscopes. Very, very interesting. We have what seems to be some sort of uh, plant in a tube. I'm not sure what that's about. Yeah. Then we can go into this part right here, and we see, of course, the plant in sort of a line, and this is actually what we saw in the trailer. This is actually really weird. So we have some sort of liquid right here or something where I don't even know where I'd start with explaining what this is, but... Okay, so when... What? I'm sure that? a lot of you are probably wondering because you've already seen this part in teasers is when are you going to look at the Zaki? We're going to look at it very soon, I promise you. I just wanted to show you it here real quick before we go past it. Because I want to show you this real quick. Now, this is really important to me because... Th the nature stuff is like, it seems like they're doing some kind of experiments on nature. Oh, I don't know. It's like creepy. It's creepy because it feels like it could be real. At some point in the this future. lines up with some lore that we've already seen literally about nine months ago literally back in 2020 we saw creative teasers from the creative team i think through instagram on one of the stories and we saw here a satellite dish with killjoy appearing now if you look at the similarities between this image that you're seeing with killjoy right now and then if you think about and again look at this really closely because it's important 
Now we're going to take away that image and of course you can see this satellite dish here. I mean really what that shows is that the creative team are literally building things like a year in advance. Yeah. Which means mm -hmm. what are we going to see in 2022? My guess is it's going to be huge. Okay so now we're at a side, mm -hmm. and of course we have here what looks like some sort of room. Yeah that's, the... that's crazy to think that like this is so planned you know. Well I mean it's very obvious that it's planned but they might they might know what's going to be happening a year from now you know they might already have that law plan planned out of those acts or those episodes um benson or something i honestly don't know and wouldn't be able to tell you what this is this is a new light asset i haven't seen that before which is nice and then we have radionite but what the heck is going on here because radionite is blue slash green right well maybe not it seems like there are other forms of radionite and that's to be expected because we have seen radionite in different forms before we just haven't seen it in this cube color before which is very very interesting and then over here we have kingdom omega sector and we have here a radionite hazard symbol now this is important because if you have a look at this image right here that you can see in front of me Think about what you see in this triangle and then have a look at the image that I'm showing you now, of course, and you can see that there's a very big similarity. In fact, it is the same logo and that's because oh this is a Radionite Hazard logo. So oh. it tells us, of course, that there was definitely, and we know, of course, at this point that there was definitely something that went wrong here, but it was probably something to do with Radionite and, of course, Radionite being a very sort of energy-based substance. Yeah. Okay, so now we've looked at that, let's have a look at the airport. Now, you're probably thinking, Zaki, an airport? What are you talking about? Well, I'm going to show you right now welcome to teleporter terminal what, what in the heck do we see right here so of course we see here teleporter sort of branding i guess with kingdom industries logo right here wow well, actually that one's more of a kingdom corporation maybe it's a kingdom industries logo actually. i don't know why this and then of course we have out, the check ins right here out. now this is a kingdom logo but stylized in a different Ooh. way my guess is that the Kingdom Industries is a subsidiary of Kingdom Corporation. Kingdom yeah. seems to be one of the most powerful companies I'd imagine in the world in the future of the universe. Kind of especially because it takes over 75% of the Earth's energy. Or at least it's 75% of the Earth's energy source, I believe. And of course, here we have different departures. Mm -hmm. We can see these different locations. Lisbon, Sydney, Toronto, Venice, Hong Kong, Madrid, <sighs> Berlin, Paris, Rome, New York. Here we Find have a waiting lounge, now. Odyssey lounge, as you can see right there. And then, of course, we have arrivals and departures right here. So this tells us a lot, I think, from a law perspective about how teleporters work in future Earth. Of course, these aren't on. My guess is something went horribly wrong, but we already know that from the law anyway. Yeah. And then if we go into the hallways, we can see keep it secret, keep it safe. Stakes are high, less talking, more doing. So clearly something is happening here or was happening here that should not be talked about. And now I think it's finally time to have a look <laughs> at the reactor area. Dream it better. We can see on the corner right here of course this is a place that i know a lot of you all want to have seen and so we're going to have a look at it in very close up right now here of wow. course seems to be a reactor we have seen this as a teaser already i did say that this was going to be a gameplay and of course it is gameplay of course it was just stylized because of essentially it was a gif and then we have here everett linda research lab omega sector restricted area mm -hmm. we have some images right here with warning again warning on the sides and again over here we have more warning images right here of course mm -hmm. things didn't go well here whatever happened yeah and we have more warning signs here now if you're wondering how i got into this place without using the zip wire some something of you will know this but some of you won't i'm guess. using a thing called ghost mode which is in custom games in valorant mm -hmm. now down here that was interesting because we saw of course some sort of energy wave energy burst if you like and if we go all the way down here we see of course the reactor up close this i think is See, it's so amazing. Like, he's so knowledgeable about this stuff. And, like, I feel like a lot of people, like, he just knows absolutely everything. It's honestly, he's like an encyclopedia of this game. It's crazy. Honestly, the coolest way that we could have seen this, this is so Not that I'm biased, awesome. You know, and if we have a look friend, around obviously. here, we have stairs that we can see, especially because we have sort of vehicles right here, of course, which we've actually seen those vehicles on Bind. And we have, it seems to be a sort, of, sort of tunnel that leads to nowhere, basically. And again, we have this reactor making another noise. And I'm glad that we actually got wow. to the reactor part because this place is really important. Now, mm -hmm. this map isn't just dual biome, it seems to be dual sector. What I'm talking about there is that if we have a look at this part of the map, we can see up here, we see Everett Linda Research Lab Omega Sector. Mm. Everett Linda Research Lab Alpha Sector Restricted Area. So we have two different sectors here 
and what are their purposes? And so with all of this, I think it's fair to say that this map is probably one of the most unique maps that we have mm -hmm. seen from a lore and art point of view. 100%. It's genuinely beautiful. Yeah. It's freaking big. It is large, to say the very least. We can see how large this canyon really is. It is massive. And Don't if you, you think just, about like, how long it's there? taking me for even to walk over here and how detailed this is, huge props to the maps team. Of course, we'll yeah, be covering more Valorant lore when it comes to this map over the next next month but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below we'll have more looks at law wow you guys okay so oh, it's a lot that is a lot that's an epic map um i love that it's law focused um and that you know it's just telling us some more information i think this is so excited exciting um comment your ideas, your thoughts, have you, oh, I, it's not released yet, so you guys can't have played, I don't think, but comment like what lore theories you have. Like, I would love to hear your thoughts on, uh, on this video and like, yeah, if there's anything else you want me to react to, go and, what, uh, go and follow uh, Zaki on Valorant Hub. Um, if you don't know, I stream on Twitch as well. So um, you can follow me on Twitch, the link will be in my link tree. I guess subscribe to me on YouTube as well. I'm not very good at this, <laughs> at rounding this out, but hit that, uh, what did the influencers say? Hit that subscribe button. Um, thanks for watching guys. This is so exciting. I feel like there's so much happening. We've had a bit of a, a quiet period in the Valorant community and things have really kicked up in the past few days. Uh, since the release of this new act and episode so i'm excited um tell me